What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we've got a few things to do. First off, we've got to get these hay and straw bales sold. Now, we've got half hay, half straw. We should make a little bit of money, a little decent money. We're going to be going to sell these down at the animal stores. Right down here, the animal market. Right down at the bottom of the hill map thing yeah, yeah so what are you up to with farming simulator right now map are you guys playing you on ravenport you on felsbrin if you're on pc are you on a mod map are you playing on estancia lapacho and love it i want to know let me know down in the comment section that is your question of the day now we have reports that overnight oh five thousand not too bad we have reports that overnight something crash landed here on mercury farms and i want to know what it is and i've been told that it's down this path the brittle bridal however you want to say it. i think it's the bridal path we are going to attempt to not hit anything we're going to try and stay sideways are they solid oh <laughs> they are not solid so we can rock and roll our way around i like that but something has crash landed i think what happened was Alien Jim's visit with us yesterday was no coincidence. I think he is on Mercury Farms because his ship crashed. That's just my opinion. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but I know we are getting ready to find out for sure. Among other things today, we've got some corn that needs to be harvested and we need to sell it almost immediately so that we can get the best price possible. And so we can make a little bit of money too. I know we're showing $201,000. Yes, we have a $250,000 loan right now. Uh, we're getting things paid off from when Big Daddy came in. We've also leased something today. That's right. Ooh. No. <laughs> I feel like we just passed through a force field. This is going to be very interesting. Let's see what we can see first off from down here. Getting outside this. Oh, ho, ho that is most certainly most certainly yeah that is a crashed ufo jim is here and not for anything but from his own doing let's see if we can get a little bit closer look now we've got to ease up on it very very carefully I don't want to go too crazy with it. Ooh! Do you see what I see? Man, trees have been knocked out of the way. Oh my goodness. We're gonna make our way through here. Ooh, listen, listen to the sound. That is eerily creepy. Oh my gosh. And it's stuck in the side of the mountain. <laughs> there is there is somebody you know what under that rock down there too. Oh my goodness. So it appears that Alien Jim's space shuttle, or spacecraft, has crash landed on Mercury Farms. That's why he's here. He's not here to visit. <laughs> he crash landed here. Oh my goodness. That, that is definitely something else. We're gonna get out of here before we get in any more trouble. Hopefully that wasn't Frank under there. <laughs> if it was, that solves a lot of problems. Oh my goodness. Do the cornfield. We got some stuff to take care of today. Keep an eye on this. This is, this is gonna be big. This is our ride for the day, the Case 9240. This is the in-game version and we are rocking Michelin wheels on it. Let's do this. I'm so excited to use this in a big old corn header as well. Oh man, we are going to make very, very quick work of this field. Now we are going to have to hit a few headlands because that's just the way it is. Well, let's hit those now. 
Let's get us some corn. Oh no, we're, we're, <laughs> I didn't think we'd be full this soon. That's 21,000 liters already. What we've done is basically a headland and I think four passes roughly over here. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not as much as I thought. We're going to get, well, we're probably get about 21,000 liters through the rest of the field. Not too shabby, actually. Not too shabby at all. Rocking through here. we got a couple stumps we need to grind up. I think... I don't know, my voice just cracked there? Wow, good job. <laughs> Way to go, DJ. I think we have up here... Wow, oh, look at the back of that thing. It is just riding low. Yeah, there's a stump grinder. We got a tractor around here. Ooh, yep, we do have a tractor right there. I think we're going to go try, at least, to get those stumps cleared up. Or we just throw it on the front of this and get them on our way out. That may even be a better idea here. Let's back this in. Do we have any corn left? So is there? I'm gonna get just. Oh, that's right. We're set to uh, set to right. Let's not do that. Let's do that. I think that'll work. There we go. Yep, that worked for us. Oh, not working. Not working for us. Bad, 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 bad. Bad things are happening. No. Whatever. Just let it happen. <laughs> Let's take a look at corn right now. Let's see what we're rocking with corn. So as far as corn goes, oh, we are only rocking with what we have. But at Windmill Hill, the price is very, very good for corn right now. So we may try. I don't know if we're going to get a double dump. We may have to call in some help for that. All right. Let's get a hold of our stump grinder. There she is. Tell you what, I really, really do like this tractor. Um, this is a Magnum, if you guys are curious, right there on the top, right uh, right at the bright lights. It says Magnum right on it. Z Magnum 7250 uh, Pro. <laughs> it's got blue on it. That means it's professional. Yes. Good tractor. Really good tractor. Uh, it doesn't have the most game-breaking, spectacular sound in the world. But there's certainly nothing wrong with it. It's just not, uh, you know, let's boom out here. Right about there. That should get it for us. The low, bam, bam, bam. Got that. And same thing with this one. Little bang, bang, bam, bam. Can we hit it? That's right. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So we've got to finish up this field I don't think it's going to take too much longer. We just need to get it done. Now, time to call in the big boys. What are we going to get? Actually, I think we're just a hair over. There's just a few liters that we're just not going to be able to fit in here. 39. That's a weird number, isn't it? 39,027. <laughs> you sure? We oh no wait that's all the corn okay so maybe we're not a hundred percent full I think the total for this one is I thought it was thirty nine thousand for all of this what is our capacity for that trailer where is it where is it where is it where is it there it is oh eighteen thousand six hundred so we are eh, a little bit below that nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with that at all we've still got thirty nine thousand. 27 liters and we're going to be selling it for fourteen hundred and forty one dollars per thousand liters i don't know about you that's a whole lot of money let's go ahead and drop that first 
Let's get our first load dumped. We're going to see what we get here. There's $30,265 on that one. And we're going to dump this one and see how much money we're going to get from this one as well. This is good, good money. I'm very, That's really good money for corn. $1,441. You darn right that's good money for corn. How are we going to do? Man, that, that back one does not dump very fast, does it? Maybe we need to just get a different trailer for the back. Hey, maybe we could sell that. Well, now we got that one for the flatbedness capabilities. Regardless, $25,980. So that back trailer alone paid for the lease on that harvester. Nice. Very, very nice. So we're good. We have got the corn done. We have got it sold. We sold it very, very quickly. So what we need to do is we need to get that harvester taken back over to the main shop. And I think in the process, we're going to have a little chat with our buddy. Oh, yeah. Mr. Frank. Now, you guys haven't seen Frank in a while. We're going to go visit him today because we have some stuff to chat about. Rolling in now. Let's see what the man himself is looking for. Ooh. Yo, what is that? What has he got up there? Ooh, that ought to be crap. <laughs> yeah, that ought to be interesting. What is that? That's a big, big truck. Gonna run all these people over real quick. And go ahead and return this stuff. Yep, there he is waiting on us. I'm gonna drop that and turn it off. Now, some of you know, some of you may not. We are not allowed to go through the front doors when, or the back doors, when he is here. We've got to go through the front so he sees us. But unfortunately, he doesn't want to see you. So what I need for you to do is hang tight. I'm going to go find out exactly what he is doing, what he's up to. What's going on with this truck up here? All right. Here's the dealio. This is the upgraded Hulk that we are going to use to deliver the Challenger. Those of you don't know, we stole a Challenger from... Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. We stole a Challenger from the government a couple episodes ago. If you haven't watched that, make sure you go back and check that out. But this, I've been told anyway, is a 1,000 horsepower upgraded Hulk. One of a kind done by the man himself, Mr. Frank. Now we are to take this and deliver it to the rendezvous point, which will be done in a few days time. Which is very, very um, uh, tempting, exciting, and terrifying. Because now, I've got the day, I've got the time, and I have the location. We will be delivering to a private buyer on Ravenport. We're going to be doing that again in just a few days' time. Today is Monday. We will be making the delivery on Wednesday. That's right. Two days from now. I'm a little worried. Got to be honest with you, I'm a little worried. I'm a little panicky on the inside, and I don't know how to handle it. So what I need you guys to do down below is to let me know what would you do in this situation. Would you tell? Would you give the wrong information? Would you sell out both parties? Would you tell you know, one party, be like, hey, I have heard through the grapevine that so-and-so, this and that, blah, 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 blah. And so everyone gets in trouble and we get out scot-free how would you handle this let me know down in the comments section below we've got this hooked up got it and we are back in this way way in here that way nobody sees it or knows anything about it there you go we are all set to go everything's ready black on black on black the colors of the night. Cha -cha 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 -cha. 
<laughs> Goodness gracious. Now that we've got that taken care of, we can head back. We could take care of a few more things on our own farm. To get ready. Because we may be gone for a few days, so we got to make sure animals are taken care of. We've got to make sure that grain is done. We've got another field that needs to be harvested. we got to figure out what to do about that. There's a whole lot that needs to be done. A whole lot of chores. Running a farm is not easy. I'll tell you what, I sure do enjoy it. Well, pretty much everything is rocking. We've got this thrown down solid fertilizer after we got our soybeans. This field is fertilized and it is currently being planted. Yeah, we're putting oats in the ground. Hopefully get another really, really good harvest from the oats. And we're heading back down to the animal farm because we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do down here, making sure everybody's got food, water, everything that they could need and of course you guys know in the last episode we bought some sheep that is right we bought some little baby sheepies let's check on them real quick let's see how everybody's doing 35 sheep 99 percent we get a new one every eh, roughly day cleanliness 95 percent all the water and all the hay and grass that they could ever want pigs are pretty similar Pretty similar story over here by the pigs. They have pretty much everything they need. Maybe a little extra food, but right now they're pretty high on numbers of food. We just gotta straighten up a little bit. We got this. And I believe, yep, pigs are clean just a little bit at the sheep. And we'll be all cleaned up over here as well, making for a very clean and very happy. Hold up, no, no, no. Don't you do it. Make you for a very clean and happy farm. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned. Perfect. That's all we needed. So guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you didn't like what I did, you know what button to hit. So, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.